Today I'm hanging out with one of the hardest working people in the industry, Frank Connick Center. How are you doing today, sir? Great, Andrew. Hey, thanks for doing this on a Saturday as well, by the way. I don't know too many people working on a Saturday like yourself, especially with your current inventory. Not a lot of coaches available. Now, you have your ear to the ground. You were telling me you monitor the comment sections across all social media. And the folks out on YouTube were asking us to show a couple things that we hadn't showed uh, before. Yeah, they had uh, asked about seeing the uh, coach with the slide rooms in and then going out and also uh, about the awnings so you'll have it on this video here showing the awnings deployed and coming back in one thing that liberty coach has done forever is on the roof mounted awnings we've always had awnings that deployed all the way around the coach as large as possible where some of the manufacturers will have the full awnings on the passenger side but as far as on the driver's side they will just not have an awning as at all and just have a false panel to make it look like there's an awning or the awning that's there is just very short for just over the slide rooms where we've done the full deployable nine foot on both sides now the last few 2023s we've seen have been just pushing the bar you've got another 2023 here you think you could show us around this coach and uh, show us coach was done for a client that had a 2019 class a and uh, they have wanted to step it up to a prevo so the discussion started with them uh probably in the spring of 2021 and we put together a deal in july of last year and so here we are going to be delivering the coach here this week which puts us in the middle of september now someone was asking about what the coach looks like with the slide rooms in do you think we could show the folks on youtube how the slide rooms operate and what the coach looks like sure. with the slide rooms in absolutely awesome no now the basement bays what's uh what's going on in the bays well the bays on this coach are pretty close to what we've had in the past where the first bay has the slide out tray again liberty coach manufactured to give the lowest profile in the industry uh, the tool drawer here all the divided sections uh, we have a storage cabinet of drawers here two drawers we have the equipment that we always provide with the coach we always provide extra filters for the water system we provide extra fuses, we provide the tow draw bar, but we also have a flare kit, we also have a uh, emergency uh, medical kit. So there's a number of things that we always provide and that'll be stored in those two drawers. The next bay back here is going to be, again, slide out tray. This is three quarter depth. Uh, additional drawers here for storage. Labeling, of course, that we do, we've touched on the labeling in the past. We label everything that we can in the coach because for the most part, most people don't use the coach every day. So when they're away from it for three to six months and come back to it, you know, the labels are a refresher. I'm seeing something else in here. This looks like another awning control like I've seen. You've showed us how the awnings could be controlled by the iPad. What is this switch out here? So this is going to be redundancy. So should the iPad lose Wi-Fi connectivity or the Crestron system have a hiccup, you can always come down here and this is the uh, original equipment from the manufacturer to operate the awnings. So down here then you'd have the ability to operate the awnings manually. Again, redundancy. The 65 inch TV, one of the largest I believe that's provided in the industry and it has a locking mechanism so to keep it from moving in the wind if you'd like to do that as well. Yes sir, and I've got to point out with this being a triple slide coach, you've got more entertainment area up front here and more space underneath that awning when that awning comes out. These triple slides seem to be really popular. They are, they are. You know, the quads definitely have their uh, advantages with more interior space. You do give up some outside space, although on the Prevo chassis, even if you have a quad, you can still get into the bays without having to, you know, get to, get down too far. With the triple, the two super slides in the back, which this coach has, and the single slide up on the front driver's side, this opens this area up quite a bit better. So you have more patio space, if you will, here. So on the triple slide, you know, we talked about the advantages a quad has, has more living space or air space when it's all open. The triple, the advantage that I see, or most people see as well, is that not everybody is gonna be sitting in the co-pilot seat going down the road. So it is a little bit more user-friendly going down the road in a triple or even a double slide because you can see completely out the front of the coach. You can sit in the back on the couch or at the dinette area and you have a pretty good view all the way forward. 
This is a little bit different here in this bay. Instead of having the refrigerator here, the client uh, opted to do a wine cooler. So we've got the wine out here. We've got an additional crush run panel here for operating everything in the coach and outside and inside. The drawer in here is gonna have the uh, Kenyan International Grill Unit that we supply on every coach we do. And additional drawers down here as well for storage and on top. Little one here, we use as much of the space you know available as we can instead of just saying, okay, fine, we're just gonna put the wine cooler in and be done. We put in an additional drawers. Wow, fourth bay here on the passenger side, storage drawers. Two of them behind here, we have the def tank. Yeah, and I, I just gotta give everybody a close up of how everything is finished out. Every little seam, really just incredible. You know, it is true. When you look at our coach, when we're done with it and you get inside and crawl through the bays, we had a customer testimonial here not long ago that he did that. I mean, when, before he purchased the coach, he crawled into everything that he could and was like floored by how everything is finished. You know, I start going through other coaches that are out there and I see black Gorilla tape that's holding the wiring harnesses up. Nothing is secured properly. We all know within a few short months, all that's gonna be hanging down and creating a lot of problems. So yeah, when you get into our coach and get really into the nuts and bolts of it, behind the scenes, everything is finished. Everything is secure. A testament to that is get into coaches that are 10, 15, 20, plus years old you can still see that in those coaches they're not coming apart the seams on the on the upholstery the seams of the carpet down in the bays the seams of the cabinetry all of that has sustained all those years of travel up and down the road and it still looks like it's brand new i've even seen a couple 20 25 year old coaches out here in your service department on a saturday do you still service coaches that are you know over oh, certainly. those ages absolutely we do yeah i invite anybody that has a liberty coach to come here or to our north chicago facility for service so much more can be done at the facilities than can be done over the phone or by sending parts out and you know trying to do it yourself type situation yeah it is a little bit more expensive to do it here at the facility but at the end of the day the end result is going to be a better experience so we have the fuel fill here uh, we have fuel fill on both sides of the coach this goes back to the prevo experience in the industry uh, on the seated and tour bus industry, the hundreds of millions of miles, the multitude of drivers that have driven the coaches, the amount of listening that Prevo has done through now almost 100 years of manufacturing to be able to, hey, let's have a fuel fill on both sides of the coach. Hey, we need some more fuel capacity. So we have the largest capacity of 225 or 28 gallons, I believe at this point in time. When we get on the other side of the coach, the def fill area is right next to the diesel on the driver's side. So again, you're sitting at the truck stop, the def is right there, right next to the fuel fill, so you don't have to move the coach to do the to the def, or it's on the wrong side, or what have you. Yeah, the other thing about this is, again, when we go back to this, with the experience that Prevo has, you know, we just have a small door here that has a key lock on it to protect, obviously, a lot of money today with the cost of fuel. But then again, you don't have to open up a bay door to get into the fuel fill or to the death fill. It's all independent. Come here to the fifth bay. We have the uh, water bay, we call it here, where we've got the water pump. We've got a 40-gallon stainless steel glass vessel water heater. We also have the tankless water heater that goes specifically to the shower valve that's been a standard piece of equipment that we've done on our coach for a number of years in case you do run out of hot water or there's a problem with the water heater itself you at least still can have a hot shower we have the reverse osmosis filtration system here that goes to the refrigerator for the water dispenser as well as the ice dispenser we have the ability to dump the fresh water tank on this side it's done by press button here we also have the ability to dump the holding tank from the passenger side as well as the driver's side. Driver's side obviously being the more usable or where most of all of your hookup is, but we have the ability to dump it here on the passenger side as well. Water filtration, again the water pump. And you have the stainless steel fresh water tank, which is something that Liberty Coach has done for well over 30 years. And we have the aluminum holding tank. Again, we've been doing metal tanks for well over 30 years. As we're going around the coach here, I'm noticing these little sensors here, and I love how the Dean Laux paint job continues through the sensors. Now, I don't know of anyone else in the 
ultra highline motor coaches that is doing lane departure. Well, uh, this is going to be the blind spot detection system, which we started doing exclusively in 2020. So that would have been started on our 21 model coaches. And interesting that you point that out as far as them being painted, because when we were doing all this, we wanted to make sure that we could have them painted. So Dean, he worked with the company that we get the blind spot detection to determine what thickness of paint could be used, how much metallic could be used without upsetting the radar system on it. So yes, it's been exclusive to Liberty Coach since then. And then now uh, in the last year and a half, uh, Prevo has updated their driver assist package to then have a lane departure system as well. So the blind spot detection system, we've done a couple of things about that in the past. It'll detect and you've got two lights, one on the driver's windshield post and the passenger windshield post that'll come on. When you start to get a vehicle coming up about 20 feet behind the coach and it'll detect about a lane on either side of the coach as well. And what is some of the other safety stuff that Liberty Coach does? We started back in 2016 model year doing the bird's eye view camera system, the brigade system as it's known of. Other companies have gotten on board with that as well. That was the first system available that could be used on a vehicle over 26 feet in length. So we did that. That's displayed on the dash iPad system as well as all of the iPads and the coach. It's also a good safety feature for when you're parked because you can do a DVR on that as well for when you're driving and also for when you're parked. So that's a, that's a pretty cool system there. Um, again, the blind spot detection system. Now we have the lane departure system from Prevo, the collision alert system that Prevo has, as well as the adaptive cruise control. Those two last items have been a standard part of uh, the Prevo chassis since uh, mid-2012 model coaches. So again, it's the Prevo aspect and all of the safety features that they have brought to us have really enhanced our coach as well as everybody else's in our industry. Ladies and gentlemen, my unbiased opinion, the Dean Laux exteriors are hands down leading the industry. Anybody in the industry knows that over the last 10 years, Dean Laux and the Art of Design teaming up with Liberty Coach has pushed the entire industry to another level and this coach is no exception. What's the story of this paint job? You guys just keep pushing it to the next level. This again was specifically done for the client so they worked with Dean uh, intimately as far as coming together with it and you know even though it's not an artist series that we've seen here the last couple of them this has got some pretty unique uh, things going on here. There's no question. Yes, sir. A lot of it, unfortunately, you don't see until it's outside, the 3D effects as far as that goes, but there's quite a bit of it you can see, and it's pretty outstanding. Do you know how many coaches Dean has painted for Liberty Coach over the last over 10 years now? Well, the first one was Coach 745, and this is Coach 894. So we're looking at somewhere close to 150 units. Wow, really incredible. So yeah, back here in the uh, engine compartment area here, we've got the stainless steel storage box. We also have the 30 amp 220 outlet for the trailer and the ability to plug shore power in on the passenger side as well. In the engine compartment area here, this would be the Volvo D13, 500 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. We do the uh, stainless steel belt guard, exclusive to us that we do. To cover the belts up some people like to have it on some people don't it's an option as far as that goes we also have our alternators here for the volta system there's two 10,000 kw alternators here that are driven off the engine system we have the air belt tightening system which we've gone over a few different times that keeps the tension on the drive belts all the time at a constant tension so once again this is part of the prevo experience that you're not having to worry about belt tensions all the time or that belts are going to come off because they're loose and what have you because this system keeps the correct tension on the belts all the time. The heat guard here, this is something that we take off, we polish, just little touches that we do just to you know, enhance the, the look and finish of the coach. And what's the towing capacity on this coach? The towing capacity is going to be 20,000 pounds and the uh, tongue weight is 2,500. That can be upgraded. There are hitches that are out there that can replace the Prevo system. Gen Y has one out that I believe will take it to 25,000 and uh, upwards to 3,000 or a little bit more on the tongue weight. But then that also is a two and a half inch uh, receiver 
as well, but I think they'll make it in a two inch also. So plenty for a stacker trailer. Oh, no question, no question. So, you know, we've touched on this in the past, how nice this is with the slide rooms. I'm tall, you're tall. You know, we don't have to bite, worry about whacking our head and busting our head open on a sharp edge here. This is all nicely finished underneath. It's also painted. So the paint runs all the way around that Dean does. So it follows the lines everywhere, even behind the windows. When we're talking about the slide rooms, we'll go through and do uh, a, a, an example of how it looks with the slide rooms in as well. So fifth bay on the driver's side, this would be the other side of the water compartment, the stainless steel fresh water tank, the aluminum holding tank, the capacities on those, both of them are gonna be right around 170 gallons. Uh, we have the fresh water hose reel, which is 100 foot. It's electric retracting and you manually pull it out. The storage for your sewer hoses is up on top here. It's all drained as well. The gray water bypass, this allows you to bypass the gray water onto the ground or through a garden hose connection and into a storm sewer or just on the grassy field, depending on your situation, if you're allowed to do that or not. That allows the holding tank then to be complete black capacity. So it gets you a lot longer uh, time frame that you can be out dry camping, if you will. What are the holding tank capacities on this coach? So that's 170 basically on both for the uh, fresh water and for the holding. Is that the uh, leader in the industry that I'm aware of? Or? Uh, I think on the fresh for sure. It depends because some companies, most of them split the gray and black independently. So, you know, it kind of depends on that individual installation. Now, one thing that, li that really sets Liberty Coaches apart is how the paint jobs go through the windows here. On Liberty Coach 893, the paint job went through the front windows. Now, how does that, is that a vinyl graphic or how does it match so well? So, as opposed to how other companies have done the vinyl where they just take a picture of it essentially and print it and then put it on, what Dean actually does is paints the vinyl. So that's why it looks so close or is so perfect when the slide rooms are in and you see it all is because it's actually painted with the same color as the rest of the coach, as the rest of the paint scheme. Now, even with that vinyl fully painted, we're still able to see out? It's, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. tra it's, uh, per it's perforated. So when you're looking out from the inside, you definitely can see, you know, what's going on. But even at night, very hard to see oh, inside of the coach. Very hard, very hard. It's an added level of privacy as well if you didn't want to have the blinds down all the time, for sure. So this would be the driver's side fuel fill here, this door uh, key here to open it. You've got the uh, diesel and then below it you have the def uh, inlet. Again, so it's in the same position, not having to open up a compartment door, not having to move the coach to be able to put the def in, so big advantage there. Fourth bay driver's side, our storage tubs that we provide, the shelving, again, everything is all finished. This could also be a closet for the driver's side, if you'd like, which would be all enclosed and weather protected as well. Here we have the generator installation and our ladder that we always have provided to be able to get on the roof of the coach or on up to the side of the coach if necessary. Generator installation here. Yeah, and the 12.5, we've talked about that with the lithium battery system and the Volta system. You're the only one in the high-end motor coach industry that has a 12.5 and not a 20 kW. Well, the thing about it is, is that the 20 is pretty much difficult because of the DEF and, and the tier four compliance. So regarding on the Volta side, when we went to the dual big pack energy packs with Volta back in 2016 on coach uh, 806, which would have been a, our first 2017 model year coach, we were able to downsize the generator because of the fact we had so much more battery power and the ability to move some of the equipment over to the battery side, we weren't needing to have the generator capacities that we had before, plus then we were completely tier four compliant with the size of generator we were doing. So that's why we've been able to get through all these years with it and most of the customers that are out there don't even run the generator too often. I mean, we you can see extended lengths of time to be able to sit with air conditioning on without having to have the generator run and just rely on the auto start system to keep the battery packs uh, charged up. And how much weight reduction do you think you had when you switched to the lithium from traditional batteries? We probably saved somewhere in the neighborhood of about a thousand pounds. That wow. was getting into the lithium, being able to increase the lithium, but then downsizing on the generator as well. So by the time you you know, tip all that stuff out, the rails, the slide out mechanisms, all that kind of stuff that was there that added so much weight, we were able to save some weight there. And just as much power, if not more? Uh, yes. Well, on the battery side, 
uh, we were able to go from your typical 8D batteries to the Volta packs. So the Volta packs that we have in here would equate to about 38 8D batteries. There's not enough real estate here in the bays to be able to accommodate 38 batteries, number one. Number two, you'd never be able to carry it because of the weight. And how long has Liberty Coach been using lithium technology exclusively? We started with the lithium ion batteries in 2010 in our first 2011 model year coach, which was coach number 718. So we've been at this now for getting close, obviously, to 200 units that have had exclusive lithium ion technology from the master volt system originally to 2017 model year when we switched over to Volta. Wow, and how have you seen that technology evolve over the last 12 years? Oh, that's uh, evolved significantly. I mean, we went from a 24 volt system to a 58 volt system. We've gotten more capacity in the same size chassis of the battery box over the years with Volta. So every so often we get a little bit more capacity out of it because the technology improves. Uh, we've seen changes in the uh, inverter charger units that we used to have 3,500 watt units. Now we have 5,000 watt units. Now we have units on the inverter side that can be stacked so that we can run 220 volt equipment as well. So on these coaches that we've been producing since coach 883, you can run the 220 volt oven off your inverters going down the road. You can run the cooktop, you can run the washer dryer. The advantages of that have far outweighed what we had previously. So any, any chance that Liberty would ever go back to traditional batteries? No. no, there would have to be a calamity of something in the industry that would cause us to have to go in reverse. Yes, I don't see that. So on top of the box here, this is the battery management system from Volta. So this is how we monitor what's going on in the coach. We had to build that technology as far as the ability to extrapolate that information to our systems so that you can see everything that's happening that that system sees on our systems as far as on the iPads through Crestron, through the Crestron panels that are wired in the coach as well. So all of that information is brought up to the uh, customer inside wirelessly or wired. Um, one thing that we've touched on in the past, we have the ability on this coach to completely turn it off with a single button. So let's say for an example, you need to store your coach somewhere and there's no power to be able to plug the coach in to keep the batteries charged. You can simply give us a call first. There's a little bit of a procedure, but for the most part, at the end of the day, you're gonna press that button there, the silver button with the green ring around it, and that'll turn the entire house systems off. If that is set at 100% of charge when you do that, you can probably come back three and four months later, press that button again, and bring everything back live. We've also touched on uh, before some video snippet parts that I've done uh, with you that we're gonna start releasing on our website. There's, I think right now, there's 16 of them that go through different procedures for resets, for different uh, issues that come up that are the most common that we'll get questioned about. With that, we wanna make the operating experience or the customer experience as seamless as possible to make it easier for people to use the coach to you know make it comfortable that they can just go to a small video and have their questions answered when we do the slide room uh, uh, section here we can talk about the fact that on the prevo slides that's the quickest operation of slide rooms in the industry so when you hit the button the gasket's going to deflate the unit's going to come in on a rack and pinion system so it's always very positive it's always moving smoothly it's not jumping around like other coaches that are out there so when it all gets in you can just go ahead and go and i mean you're we're talking minutes minutes that you are ahead of somebody else leaving you think we could show the folks on youtube in a moment we uh, sure can sounds good this then is the prevo uh, forward service compartment here where the washer fluid is located for both the headlights and the and the uh, windshield uh, wiper system. We also have the ability to drop the front bumper down very easily and we have a storage section in there as well next to the auxiliary air compressor that's all sealed and lighted as well. You'll see on the newer coaches from Prevo this device right here that's actually a camera and that is for the new driver assist lane departure system and the collision alert. I know this coach is already pre-sold. What coaches do you have available late model Prevo Liberty in your Liberty Coach stock? So we have a 2019 that's actually a coach that we own. It's a quad, it's coach 7191. We have two consignment units. We've got a 2013 bath and a half double slide H. 
We also have a 2016 quad slide H and we also have a 2021 double slide X3 marathon. In the motorhome exchange, that's where you'd see the pictures for the marathon on that website. And then we also have a 2012 uh, triple slide that's on there as well. So inventory levels are very low, there's no question. I mean, you see it every time you come here and drive by our lot. I mean, it's very, very sparse, there's no question about it. And people see the website that there's no activity going on the website, it's because every time we get a coach, it's immediately sold. We've got a 21 out here that a good friend of yours, and I think he's gonna be a good friend of the company, has bought immediately that, you know, nobody ever knew it came through. Yes, sir, and I can't believe that 2013 Bath and Half Liberty coach is still available. It's, it's a beautiful coach. I mean, there's no question about it. Just needs to find the right buyer. And I heard you guys just did a price reduction on that yeah, coach we as did. well? We did. I think the paint job is beautiful with the barbed wire, but if they didn't like it, they could always take it to Dean Laux and he we could really we know he could change the color. Yes, sir. So, and Dean can only paint Liberty coaches. So like, if you wanted to get that marathon painted, he won't, he'll only paint Liberty coaches. So a lot to be said about yep. that but let's take a look inside this right, one. We sure can. Frank, the team at Liberty Coach did it again. Totally different design. Now, yeah. what is going on yeah. here? Well, this is a collaboration between the client and Kim, no question about it. I mean, there's a lot that uh, came together here. The finishes in here are some of them bright, and then we've got uh, contrasting as far as in the cabinet design, the countertop design, the waterfall countertop here that you've seen occasionally in our coaches, the agate lighted backsplash has become more and more popular. We've seen some of those in the coaches that we videoed. There's one here in this, uh, in the galley backsplash, and there's one in the mid bath as well that you'll be able to see. Quite a bit going on in here, really, but it's very soothing. It's very, very comfortable. So what are some of the features in this 2023? You've seen a couple of them like this where the breakfast bar, which is probably one of the most popular things that we've had for a number of years, We've eliminated on this coach the cabinet and the TV there to expand the window area as well. So it makes that area look bigger, feel bigger as well. So it's a little bit of a change there. We're doing some of that. This is a bath and a half unit. This one, uh, compared to the other ones that we've seen, they opted to do the two chairs in the living room with a cabinet in the middle. Uh, that cabinet then can uh, store a printer as well and the bottom drawer. And we have the uh, sound processor unit that's on top. We've gone away from DVD players and gone specifically specifically to Apple TV units. Seeing more and more people are doing a lot more streaming uh, now than they've done in the past, especially with the Wi-Fi systems, the internet data packages that we have are so much faster. So hopefully at some point in time, we might be able to eliminate uh, DirecTV. Yes, sir. The, uh, HD satellite systems, which we all know have been a headache. I mean, talk about <clears throat> AV equipment. Uh, I don't see any televisions in this coach. Where where would the televisions well, be? Well, so you've got the one TV, which is a 55 inch unit, comes out of the front overhead here, goes all the way down. It's a completely very smooth and quiet system as far as that goes. Yeah, and I've got to point out just how flush that is. You can barely even tell that there's a, a TV hidden there just because it's such a sleek design. And well, the... we can bring it down if you like. Yes, sir. Yeah, please do. Yeah, in the past, whenever there's a TV that comes down, usually it takes up more headroom in the entryway there. So one thing to note about this is that the design that we have with this TV lift is the ability for it to go beyond the 90 degree point. So we have the ability to come in and out of the coach very comfortably without worrying about hitting our head, shoulder, what have you, with quite a large TV. Yeah, a lot, lot of other motorhomes out there didn't design that quite as well as you guys yeah. did, so. So we'll put that back up again again. So the operation, the mechanism, it's very, very quiet. Built to marine standards, so it can handle the, you know, bouncing and, you know, that in the ocean that you would have, not as much as you have here, obviously, in, a, in the Prevo that rides so well all built to the same uh, standards. Yes sir, what else is going on in this coach? So on the dash arrangement here, this is our uh, dash cockpit system that we've had in place since 2016. Um, there is a significant amount that we've consolidated down to a single iPad display. You've got the tire pressure monitoring system here on the left. As we come over on the right, you've got obviously the big iPad display, which is a 12 inch iPad Pro 
controls everything in the coach. Plus it has a driving page to it, which is the cameras. And then on the center pillar, we've added a monitor here that is very nicely done. It looks built in, it hinges out, so it can be directed right at the driver. And then coming across to the passenger side, we have the privacy shades on this coach for all the windows. And the one for the entry door is actually built into the door so you can leave it down you don't have to worry about walking in and out of it as if it was down a mountain above yeah and then i see a kef speaker it's it's hard to see because it's so flush mounted in the center pillar there the kef system uh i brought into our industry now boy they've been with us for well i think 10 plus years if not more so what we did with them is designed a system specifically for the front of the coach as well as the back and the exterior so on the exterior, we've got a sound bar from them that's engineered for the outdoor. In the rear of the coach, the speakers that are in there are designed specifically for that space. And then the same thing holds true here on the front of the coach. So the speaker that's on the center window pillar is your center channel speaker. And then the other speakers are very well concealed throughout the coach as well as the subwoofer. Each coach, when it's completed, goes through a sound check so that all of the speakers are at the proper level before the client gets it. And I heard there's something tied in with that beautiful lighting on the outside where the lighting will go with the beat of the music. Is oh, that yeah. really true? We started doing that back in 1998, believe it or not, and we've done it on almost every coach since then. So there's a switch down there that you can throw and it will move with the music or move with the beat of the outside entertainment center. We might have to check that out. Uh, I, you learn something new every day. So <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of little features like that that Liberty Coach has been doing for decades. Now, one thing that I get excited about, the little paper towel oh, roll. Right, Do you right. still have that oh, yeah. uh, yep. kind of hidden uh, yeah. paper so towel roll? In here, you can see uh, where the paper towel holder is. And then to access it, we've got a drop down door here so that you can get to the paper towels to uh, replace it. Once again, trying to keep the countertop clean and uncluttered. We have the cooktop here, which is a Wolf induc induction unit. And the cover for it is perfect. You can't feel that it's there. We have a sink cover as well that goes here. All of the cabinets are lighted. You've made note of that in the past. And then we have a different type of flooring or shelving material that we put on depending on that where it's located. So underneath the sink here, this is more of a rubbery material. So it's easier to keep clean, it won't stain. And then we have the material that we use here in the other drawers. This keeps things quiet when you're going down the road. One thing we always talk about, no squeaks, no rattles. Yes, sir, so, yeah. I, I gotta get you to say it, because no one else in the industry will say it. Lifetime warranty. Li lifetime workmanship warranty yes. to the first owner, which definitely includes squeaks and rattles. We will warranty that. We do not tolerate it. Only one in the industry that'll do that. And we do that through our PDI on used coaches as well. So when we're going through the PDI on a, on a used coach, I don't care if it's a 2022 used to being a coach that's 20 years old that's used. That is part of the criteria of the PDI list is to go through and get rid of squeaks and rattles. How many items are on a PDI list before someone purchases a coach from Liberty Coach? The PDI list starts out at 275 items. And then as the technicians are going through the coach, there may be things that they see that is beyond the PDI list. So it's very easy for that to grow. At the end of the day, we could have a PDI list that once they've checked everything out could be 116, 117 items that has to be attended to. And some of that stuff is very, very small, like a nick in a cabinet, or we've got to touch up a, uh, a scratch on the outside of the coach, or we've got to do something like that, a squeak on a drawer, or adjust or, or lubricate the couch mechanism. So a lot of that stuff is really small. Some of it can be more detailed, but most of it, for the most part, is small. But it takes a good two to three weeks to run a coach through the PDI, for sure. And what's the oldest coach and in inventory that you'll put through that PDI process? Is there an age limit on coaches that you'll PDI? No. So if it goes through Liberty Coach or the Motorhome motor home Exchange, mm -hmm. it's getting that full PDI? Right. So on the Exchange side of the Motorhome Exchange, there could be an option depending on the price point that, okay, fine, we're going to sell you the coach as is, or it goes through the shop. If it goes through the shop, then of course the co cost of the coach is going to be more expensive. Okay, so what else is going on with this coach? So, back to our dinette uh, breakfast bar area. We've eliminated on this particular unit the, 
the TV uh, cabinet there, which opened it all up, gives it a bigger feel through here. Cabinet-wise, we've got the open grain uh, veneer. I don't recall the species of wood that's here, but that's uh, really nice. We're still using that material, very popular, doesn't show the fingerprints at all. Got a nice pantry area here all lit up. This is a Wolf uh, speed oven. This is a convection as well as a microwave oven. Then we have the uh, Fisher Paykel uh, refrigerator unit here. It's built in. You can't even tell that it is a refrigerator until you open it up. Old pantry style here. Ice maker is built into the freezer unit below, drawer unit. And is there a reason that Liberty Coach uses the Fisher Paykel refrigerator as opposed to like a Sub Zero? Or well, the Sub Zero we used to use quite often, except for the fact that Sub Zero changed the design of the unit and has become too tall to get it in to build it into the coach. Period. Uh, Fisher Paykel's quality has been very good for us. So I think we are now into our fourth or fifth year using it. So we've been very pleased with the quality of the unit. It's, it's been relatively trouble free. We come down through the hallway here. We have the uh, center uh, mid bath. Nice solid doors, no rattles. Check that out. Big yeah. shagged backsplash there. It, and the cameras don't even come close to doing justice of the detail work in this backsplash. Yeah, that a cool little uh, piece of artwork there to kind of tie that all in. And what's this this pattern on these doors? That uh, the do? chevron pattern, uh, that's something that we do in house. We make these doors and we do all the molding work as well. Same with all the ceiling treatment and the wood treatment you see in the ceilings, all the molding stuff, everything else, we do all that in house. And we have uh, Jack and Jill doors into the bathroom. Yeah, we sure do. So you've got another one back here as well come back in here this is going to be the washer dryer unit so the Bosch washer dryer and is there a door to separate the living yes, areas there's a air operated pocket door that comes across here to block that off and then you've got the secondary uh, entry aft entry to the mid toilet room we're coming into the super suite so this is a super suite coach that has the larger super slides in the bedroom on both sides this slide on the driver's side is the same depth as the front slide, which is 30 inches deep. The slide over here on this side, I believe, is 24 inches deep here. So we have an enormous area here. You've got big closets on either side of the slide room here and here. And then mirror on both doors as well. Storage drawers. We have a hamper down here. Once again, we pointed out you know, we make the notch for the hamper. We don't make it flat across the bottom, so you have more capacity. Outlets inside the closets, we people have used for a rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Yeah, hey, what's uh, this over here? I've never this seen is the it. sink cover. Oh, sink cover, for the, okay. For the galley. Nice drawers here. Yeah, I love all the bedding and just the design of this coach. We have then closets on either side of the bed. You know, big closets. And then also big, massive deep drawers. Different treatment here. We've seen uh, wood treatment here. We've seen upholstered treatment. We've got a mirror treatment going on here to give it a bigger spatial feeling. And then, of course, when you come into the aft bath, you've got the massive shower and all the tile work. We've touched on the fact that Liberty Coach is the only company that actually makes a stainless steel shower pan. We manufacture that in house. That way, we don't have to worry about any leaks. We come in and then mud that and then tile. The interior of the shower is all done with a rock board. We've touched on this in the past as well. The other manufacturers, other coaches that are out there over a period of time, the shower begins to leak. That is not going to happen on a Liberty Coach. Yeah, and the lighting too, as the camera points away from the back room, it's like there's like a just such a source of light coming from the bathroom here. Is there more light in the bathroom than the rest of the coach? Oh, no, there's a lot of light back there. There's no question. You know, we've been... You keep listening to customers over the years. We need more lighting. We need some more lighting. So we have a lot of lighting. Back in here, um, we have the control systems, restaurant systems, satellite receivers, uh, internet access systems, Wi-Fi. That's all done back here. Yeah, so in the shower here, we've gone instead of a seat, we have the step arrangement here, if you will, just to be able to put your lugs up for the ladies to be able to shave. Yes, sir. It gives a little bit more room. It's an incredible coach with the slide rooms out. Do you think we could put the slide rooms in? No problem, we can do it. It's nice about on the Prevo, as long as you have air pressure and there's enough battery power, you don't have to have the engine running to do the slides. So 
like to start in the back. So slide room controls are in the bathroom there? Uh, in this particular unit they are because it's uh, easier to keep concealed and then plus you can see the slides as well when you're operating the switch. And that took maybe 20 seconds, yeah, if that. Yeah, something like that, exactly. And so now you... The, now this, we're doing the uh, driver's side bedroom. And, you know, like we've been saying, how quiet it is, how smooth it is, there's no bumping around. And so this slide room comes all the way to the half bathroom mm -hmm. here. Have both bedroom slides in and now we can go ahead and put the front one in the reason we put the slide control switches where we do is so that you can actually see the slide moving in case you forgot to get something out of the way or something becomes an obstruction so that you can go ahead and get it out of the way yes sir There you have it. Maybe less than two minutes. I was gonna say, maybe less than, you know, in between two and three, so yeah. Yeah, that's vacuuming the slides, everything. Yep. Um, yep. Now, this is what the coach, you wanna show us um, what the walking room with the yeah, slide true. rooms in? So the coach is usable, obviously. This is no different than a non-slide coach would be. We can still get in and out of the drawers. We can still sit, we can eat here comfortably. No problem using it. You know, we're, even these are on slides, so we still have plenty of room. We can get back here to the mid bath, no issues. We can get to the refrigerator, no issues. Yes, so there's a significant amount of usable area here when you're parked. Now, the one thing that we can't do is we can't get to the aft bath unless we crawl over the bed, but there we have a nice... Well, uh, we can get to the bed very oh, easily. Oh, we can get to the bed easily, yes. S still plenty of room. close to two or three, and I mean, I... I just walked by you in the hallway yeah. here, plenty of room. Now, you and your wife travel in coaches a lot. Yeah. When you were like just stopping somewhere for the night. One slide out. Just put back. one back slide room yeah. out. Try and park somewhere where we can have that on the curb side. So whichever side is gonna be the curb side, then we'll go ahead and put that slide room out in the back. And then we're easy to be able to use the coach, no problem. Really incredible coach all the way around. Now, if someone wants to become the next owner of a new Liberty coach or pre-owned Liberty coach, who should they get a hold of? Well, on the new part of it, uh, we're taking orders now for delivery in December of 2023. That would be a 24 product, so we're out now a little bit over a year. Uh, used or new, you'd want to go on the website. You can contact us through there, or you can contact us at coachsales at libertycoach.com, or you can call 800 Five five four nine eight seven seven, and we'll be all over it. Awesome, Frank. Greatly appreciate you coming in on a Saturday to show us this beautiful coach. Glad we got the opportunity. Also, greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you to the viewers as well. And again, thank you for coming out on a Saturday to do this. Thank my, you. My pleasure.